Holy Cross Center Ministry. Welcome back with me today. We are back in Living Grace, Walk in Love by Bob Goff, a 365-day devotion journal. And it's with permission of HarperCollins Christian Publishing that we get to do these devotions. Uh, today, we are looking at devotion number 103. It is Friday, May 7th, 2021. And we're looking at devotion number 103. The title is this. God can't add beautiful things to our hearts if there's no room in our lives. Scripture today comes from Isaiah 43, 18 and 19. It says this, forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? Here is the devotion for today. It's a little alarming to do an inventory of all your stuff when it comes time to move. It's usually when we notice how much stuff we actually have. We think it's going to be a breeze and then we open a closet to find stacks of high school yearbooks piled up on top uh, of boxes with 20 year old bank statements. Then we rediscover uh, attic storage that we had forgotten, uh, that we had forgotten about, packed tight with broken lamps, old tennis shoes, picture frames, and pool cues for a pool table we don't even own anymore. How do we acquire so much stuff without our own awareness? To push back against my hoarder tendencies, says Bob Goff, every time I move, I give away as much stuff as I can and vow to keep space open for more beautiful things to be added. You can see where this is going. If we want to make room for beautiful things to be added in our lives, we have to get rid of some old stuff. This doesn't just apply to the physical things. It applies to the hurts and the memories that we collect over time as well. Just like our closets fill up, our schedules slowly fill up with every yes we can give. It's all good stuff. Um, it's really hard to say no. It's like drowning in chocolate. <laughs> um, even when our time is packed with great people and opportunities, we have got to learn how to pump the brakes and make some more room. The sweetest moments in life happen unannounced. There are long drives down country roads in autumn or hikes that leave room for exploration. There are quiet evenings with people you love when you can sit together in silence and still feel heard. God can't add beautiful things to our hearts if there's no room in our lives. What will you quit so you can get some rest? You'll never regret making space for the treasures you've been too busy to cherish. The reflection question, the reflection question for today says this, what do you need to let go of so you can make more space for what's truly good and beautiful? Um, I've heard it said uh, that we will make time for what's important. And um, usually I feel like it's um, exercise and um, probably devotions, time with God, that are the first to go for people um, who are Christians or people who feel that, that pull to grow closer to God. I feel like those are kind of the first things that we're like, oh, I wish I just had more time. I would, I would read the Bible more. I would, I would pray more or I would exercise more. Um, we will make time for what's important. Um, anyway, and let's pray. Uh, God, thank you so much for, um, for giving us every minute that we have with our lives. Thank you so much for all the time uh, because you are not limited by it. Thank you so much for the gift of every single day that we wake up and we have 24 new hours uh, to, do, uh, to do with whatever we please. Um, God, help us to, to fit time for you in there. Help us to remove some of the things that, um, that are taking up a little extra space so that we can make room for something great, something new, something wonderful that you're trying to give. Um, I, uh, I made uh, a deal with my husband years ago that if I was going to get a new outfit, I had to get rid of one <laughs> to make room in the closet. And God, I know that you're trying to, uh, to make room in our hearts for, for wonderful things, for maybe even a new person or a new friend, a new, a new hobby, a new something, anything. Um, and God, I know that sometimes when we hold on to those old things, uh, it can be for nostalgic reasons, God, but sometimes we just don't need to. Um, help us to have the discernment and the wisdom to get rid of what we don't need to make room for what you're trying to bless us with in our lives. I pray that in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a great day.